guys, welcome back to my channel. Uncle Dave has just been sentenced to 60 days in jail. So this is like the second time that Janelle's been pregnant while one of her baby daddies has been in jail, uh, has been sentenced to jail and will be serving time in jail. And honestly, the jokes write themselves here. It's just plain ridiculous and embarrassing at this point that she continues to breed. But anyway, back to Uncle Dave's jail sentence. Uncle Dave is sentenced to jail because he violated a probation order that um, his ex-girlfriend and baby mama got against him for uh, physically assaulting her while pregnant. So if you recall, um, what's alleged to have happened is that David had grabbed her by the throat and told and threatened to kill her, essentially, while she was pregnant with their son. And so although he wasn't convicted for like domestic abuse or anything like that, the judge did get grant um, the baby mama and her son a restraining order against Dave. He was to have no contact with either of them. Dave was at the grocery store one day and he spotted his son with the son's grandma and aunt and pretty much just like was like, a restraining order, I'm gonna go see this child, and went up to him, hugged him, and grabbed him. And the grandma and the aunt were just so like freaked out and scared because, like, this is a creepy ass felon who had like allegedly threatened to kill, you know, their relative, and he's now grabbing this child, and they and he has a restraining order, like what how can anyone be so damn reckless it's ridiculous right so they called the police on him and he was arrested and um he was just sentenced to 60 days in jail um just a few days ago i'm not sure when he's going to be serving the time but of course janelle has come to his rescue on twitter like with like a flurry of tweets and stuff defending him saying the judge is biased and the judge hates him and this and that and it's just so ridiculous can you guys imagine if janelle like went for her children half as hard as she goes for like her like flavor of the weeks like how great of a mother she would be because that girl you know could really defend a person like maybe she'd even have custody of Jace back by now seven years later you know what I mean the funny thing about Janelle before I even get into what she was tweeting is that Janelle can't be bothered to like take her kids to the movies or like go to their plays or like go to like their parent teacher whatever's but like she's got all kinds of time to like you know follow her men to jail follow them across the country hit red carpets up like mind blown. So anyway, here's what she said on Twitter. According to Janelle, this judge is really biased and she hates him, uh, hates Dave. And that's because when she handed down the not guilty verdict in the whole domestic abuse kit thing, she said that she regretfully had to say that he was not guilty. So J to Janelle, that's I hate you. Apparently the judge rolled her eyes at the lawyer Dustin and um, David is going to appeal and not serve 60 days in jail. Sure, Janelle. And and here's the kicker. Janelle's like, you know what? The whole like violating probation thing is so stupid. It ends on October 22nd anyway. What? <laughs> and after October 22nd, he's gonna try and get custody. Like, you know, that's so stupid. That's like being like, you know what? My prison sentence ends like within three months. So I'm just gonna hop on out of this jail anyway. Like, Janelle, how stupid are you, girl? Like. I can't, I can't even, you guys. I cannot, like to the full extent. Cannot, cannot, cannot with this girl. It ends on the 22nd anyway. This incident, like this whole like violating the restraining order thing happened like months and months ago. So you mean to tell me that just because like your probation or your jail sentence or like anything ends like within the year, all of a sudden you're free reign to violate it? Really, girl? Really? But you know what? Again, Janelle never goes to, you know, through any serious consequences for her actions. So to her, all this stuff is crazy. So I can see, you know, from that context, why she's so confused that like when you break the law, you go to jail. I can really see why she's confused. Uh, great job on that MTV. Anyway, you guys, share your thoughts on Uncle Dave going to jail in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. You can also follow me across social media and make sure to like this video and share it with your friends as well. And don't don't, don't, don't forget to subscribe for more. See you next time.